Oi, Matt here. So today is the day we're gonna start loading up this racket shelf. It's just been sitting bare for the last couple of weeks. We've been pretty busy with other stuff, but it's time to get a few bits and pieces up onto the back wall. We're also gonna be looking at a lighting system for the top. We've bought a couple of down lights and we've also got the LED strip we had on the last wall. We've gone out and bought a few bits and pieces. We've got a whole pile of uh, magnetic bits, which I'm pretty keen to see how they go, as well as a magnetic strip. A fair few hooks, bits and pieces. We've got some screws. That's gonna be for the timber to go on top. So we're gonna put a bit of timber along there throw four downlights in. These downlights are actually RGB. So what that means is you can do all different colors there. Wireless, so I can turn on with the phone, I can dim them, I can change the colors. I didn't really buy them for that. These were just super cheap. These were 30, I think 33 bucks from Bunnings and I already had two lying around the house from a while ago. Can't remember what I bought these for. They work all right, so I got two more. So we're gonna go four along the top, but let's get stuck into this top part and get some downlights in. So the shed's still a bit of a pigsty from the last few videos and uh, other bits, but we've got some timber behind there we'll grab out. Also, if you didn't know, I've recently picked up a Prusa 3D printer. I've got a 3D printer and a scanner, putting that together. And hopefully I'm gonna be making up a few pieces for the shed, a few tool holders, bits and pieces like that, a few things for pack out. So hit me up with your ideas for this guys, what you would love to see printed, but I'm only an amateur just starting to put this together. No idea what I'm doing. All right, it's bloody hot. I've been holding off on the air con. Didn't really want to spend the money this summer. I've spent a little bit too much in here already. Don't tell the wife. Probably hold out till next summer. We're coming out of summer now, so it's probably not worth getting now. Yeah, but let's get into this. Let's measure up this and then get a cut. Grab the old faithful, the old silver fat max. Not called extreme anymore. So, write this down guys, we've got 610. Um, that's actually got stuck. This is brand new tape. Retraction on that. These must have changed. The old school ones were called Extreme, were fantastic, man. They used to go, uh, they used to go walking on site all the time. That's why I stopped buying them, people stole them. That's fully clicked back. What happened, Stanley? We have 1805 will do it. Just gonna be using the 12 mil, the same gear that I was using for the shed sling. It's almost half cut up. We've got to shorten this up both ways. Battery. Ah, uh, flat. Me. We got full, oh, beautiful. I'll do. Let's see if this works. Nah, you're kidding me. This thing. Who thinks I should go to Makita, Hi Koki? What should I change this for? I need to change this. Maybe Metabo. I've got the Metabo batteries now. Might do Metabo. So now we've just got to put the cutouts in for the lights. I bought a 95 mil. How good are cheap tools? Craft right, hole source, the dodgiest kit you could probably get. 15 bucks, but it's got the 95 in it. We'll see how this goes. We'll take it easy with it. We've only got four holes to cut, but realistically, where do you guys sit on that sort of stuff? I could have spent 50 bucks on a proper hole saw like a Sutton or a Diablo and got it done with that, but that's 50 bucks. I'm probably not gonna use another 95 for a long time. So for myself, 15 bucks, we'll see if this works. Hopefully we can get through four holes and if anything, we'll just throw it away. But yeah, 15 bucks, what would you do? Spend 50 or 15? Ah, so that's a change of plans. I did a bit of measuring and because where these braces are sitting makes it, uh, makes it really hard to go four. I was gonna try to get one in here, maybe one there, but the spacing just isn't right and my OCD is going to go wild. That's ridiculously cheap. Six hole saws for 15 bucks with an arbor. Should rock up to work with this. Just confirm. Usually I just pop it on the front there, give it a bit of an eyeball. That's perfect. Figured I'd use rubbish with rubbish. Nothing against Dewalt, absolutely nothing. Their uh, new gear is absolutely fantastic and obviously the top end gear is really good. This is their bottom end gear. I won this a couple of years ago um, in a comp. I've pretty much never used it. 
couldn't see why I would want to. But I guess we'll uh, change it up today, eh? Some cheap gear with some cheap gear. Love. Wow, look at that. Go for the test. Yeah, she's gonna be tight. She looks pretty good. Perfect. Time for some. So, I wanna do this black, obviously, to match everything else. I've only got a bit of black. I'm not sure. It's probably half full. But obviously it's gonna soak into this pretty quick. So I've got some monument. Like it's only gonna be rough. All your painters are gonna be yelling at me. But uh, yeah, we'll throw that down basically as an undercoat. Who knows if that'll work proper? Surely, I don't really know. I'm not a painter. Hate painting. I'll shake it up. So, we have waited five minutes. <laughs> She's bone dry. We'll throw the black on, and we'll be done. Just had something to eat, and she should be bone dry. So I think we're ready to throw it up. I was just trying to figure out how to wire it, but re realistically, once I put it up, these tops are removable. So I can just throw them up and uh, I'll be rewiring them. I won't be showing that on film. I don't like to do electrical and that sort of stuff on um, YouTube or social media. So we'll just throw it up, get it going, and the next thing you guys will see is some lights that are on. Way is best. Try not to mark it with my dirty hands. So we'll see if it looks pretty good to me. So we've used the Walt today. May as well use some Makita. put the app on the phone. We'll turn it on. One, two, three. Nice, nice. Change to warm white or go to color. Not a bad little system, really. Beautiful. She'll look good at night. So let's start loading up this shelf. Just throw bits and pieces around and see what it looks like. Start off with these. These are just some um, rectangle, rectangular tool holders. So as you can see, they're just sort of a rectangle, a couple of bits on the back there. They slide in there like that. So I'm thinking these for my pliers and bits and pieces. Oh, very, very nice. Yeah, we might, might gap them. So we've only got a couple more sets of pliers to go. If you haven't been following, I've been collecting pliers for the last six months. And we are aiming to do a massive, 
massive comparison. There'll be over a thousand bucks worth of pliers. I really, I don't know if I'll keep the pliers there. It's just a bit of fun at the moment. Got the screwdrivers up. They're definitely something I'll be using all the time. Would like to make something a little bit more proper, especially for the Pico finish. These ones here, they're just a little bit too small for this screwdriver bracket. And that's actually one reason why I grabbed the 3D printer. I'm hoping to print up some cool little uh, stacks for these. So definitely looking for ideas on that, but we'll keep cruising. What I'm really interested in is these two. So this, what we've got, 305 mil by 25. As you can see, you throw anything on them, you've got these that hold it in. So let's just say we put it around here somewhere. We'll go right to the end. Chuck that in. So I took the sticker off, but let's throw whatever you want up. Pretty strong. A little bit heavier. Perfect. And the next ones are just some little buttons. Magnetic buttons. Now, now I can't even get them off. How the hell do you get them off? Your screwdriver. Hey. No idea what I'll use these for, but I, I guess that's not gonna work. You just throw little bits and pieces, they're not, not as strong. So I'm wondering, I don't know what you could use them for. They're really not that strong. Misread these. It doesn't say really what they're for, just magnetic button. I guess it's to hold stuff up. All right, there you go. So these are just to hold up bits and pieces, paper. So realistically, I probably won't actually use these. There you go. First up, we've got this kit. What should we do with those? I do want these up here. So I'm thinking we can put it onto one of these. We've still got one of these spare. Make sure these actually, yeah. Should be better. All right, pretty happy with that. What's next? Could be a change of plans. I forgot I had this one. This one's just a tray that clips onto this. And that's basically all I was wanting to do. So it could work out nice. Do the hooks. That works really good. Beautiful. I wanted to get the magnet out of this. I wonder if we can. Okay. Then we got a magnet. So I can use it like that. Beautiful, that's what I'm wanting. This is just a bit of my old shelving, which I've folded over. You can see there's sort of a lip in there. And that lip allows me to clip that in there. It's 
What do you think? I'm pretty happy with it so far. This is obviously just the essential hand tools, I guess, the everyday hand tools that I'll be using and all the power tools, the battery tools, they'll all be going on the other sides, on the other walls. Uh, this wall will be French cleats and a whole pile of pack out, tools, lighting, all that sort of stuff. Pretty keen to do that one actually. That's probably what I'm most excited about. And what we still need to do is fill the drawers. We've got plenty of other gear to put in the drawers. I think we might be putting a lot of fixings and bits and pieces in there. And then we've got compressors, extraction, we're gonna be doing um, a whole extraction system and it'll probably be under the shelving. Maybe, I don't know, we might make something in the corners. We'll run into that when we get there. But what do you think guys? I'm really happy. I've thrown a couple of things on the side there. I really do like that the hooks work for the side here. They just clip into there nice and easy. So just got the headlamp up there and those clips just clip into to these bits here. Got a mask there. So I can throw a few things on there. Still got to figure out what I'm going to do up the top there. Maybe the timber and bits and pieces, but yeah, once again, we'll hit that once we get there. But that's the weekend done, guys. I would have liked a little bit more done, maybe the drawers and a few other bits and pieces, but I'm really, really happy with this. What do you guys think? Let me know. Until next time, stay addicted to the tools.